you've been able to control characters, faces, poses, compositions, and now you can control lighting as well with a preset character or scene. I'm going to show you how. And if you learn anything, feel free to subscribe. I research this so you don't have to, and YouTube ads help me keep going. By the way, where do bad rainbows go? Prism, but it's a light sentence. All right, so I've prepared it here. Uh, we're gonna go into PNG info. I have this image that we're gonna use for this tutorial. I'm gonna send that to image to image. This is the prompt in the settings to get this image. And we will be using control net as well. Now we need to change some things. We're gonna up the denoising strength to about 0.9. You can go between 0.9 and, and, and up to one. I found that the best settings. And we're actually gonna remove this here. And we're gonna go into control net. And we're gonna upload the image here. We're going to enable and you're going to use the depth map. In my experience, the depth layers is a little better for this lighting trick, but you can use the depth map as well and the regular depth model. You don't need to bother with the rest of the control net settings. Just remember to enable. And also remember to keep the seed fixed. But if you have an image that you sent in through PNG info, like I, I did, it will be set here. Now I have prepared a light pack and I'm going to upload this for you to use as well. I'm just going to show you some of them. So here are some of the files that I'm going to be using. And these are presets that we will use. So let me just slap one in there. I'll show you. I'll take, um, take this one. Now what you can do is you can just generate this and you're going to get everything that's going on here. So you're going to get uh, basically three light sources. We have something up here, we have the right one there, we have something up top that we can't see, but there's light on the face, and there's also lighting here, but it's not um, really the control that we're looking for. But what I wanna do here is, let's go into the edit here, and now if you hold, you can either hold shift to just uh, keep the aspect ratio, or you can drag however you want. So let's say we want to light the right side of her. So take it like this. So this will be the right side of the image and the left side of the image will be black. So it's generate again. So as you can see, we have a huge light coming from here and it's uh, much darker here. And it's not just a light blob. The, the image understands and corrects as well. So the lighting on the character stays the same. And this works both for people and, and scenes. It doesn't really matter, it works for anything. And let's just say, okay, we want the light on the light side. So either we can do like this, or I prefer doing that because then you get the right edge in there. And now we have the light coming from the left and it's basically black on the right side. You can play around with this. You can use other settings. I have this one, for example, where I might want the light to come from. See, I want it to come mostly from the top right, but I don't want it to be fully black in the rest of the scene. So here we have a big light come up here and we have less light, but it's not as black as it used to be. Let's try and move it up a little bit more. I'm just going to get a huge blob of light up at top right. And this is more of a da daylight setting. But still, as you can see here, there's just a small parts of black here and some gray. So we have good lighting down here but it's not as blown out as it is up here. You can play around with this as much as you want. I made some presets that you can use and you can use them as is or with the edit and crop. This is more of a straight on, basically a classic ring light if you wish. You can see they have the strong lights coming on here. You still have some diffused light up here. So the, the gray parts here will be more diffused and these will be harder these lights and again you can just swap these around let's try and get some uh... now the light pack i'm going to leave in the uh, video description below so you can download that and play with it now you don't have to use a specific input image that uh, like this that you have here you can use a, a crude sketch or basically anything you wanted i just wanted to show you that if you have an image that you can control it a little bit more. Now it's not the exact same image because we're not keeping the color here, but uh, that can also be controlled if you put colors inside of the light here.
Now let me show you how you can be this consistent with video. But I have an example here I'm going to play for you. And this is basically what we did. But you can see that it's the exact same face and pose and everything is the same. But the light is moving. So you can animate with 100% control without any of the glitches or artifacts that all the other video tutorials out there are getting. Now this is a little time consuming. But I bet, I bet there are a lot of you that can find ways around that. So if you find a clever workflow, you know, let me, let me know and uh, I'll look it over. Um, basically what you need to do today is let's say you have this light and you take, okay, I want that image there. Then you generate one image. And then you need to manually move that a little bit to keep the light for moving one frame at a time. Now this isn't very effective at all, and it's very time consuming. But it's a first step of making animations that are fully controllable. And just looking at this example here, you can see, especially the light, you can see the light on the, the nose and everything. This is revolutionary in my, this, is, this has great potential. We've been able to control First with Dream Booth, control over the faces. With ControlNet, we now have control over any pose or composition. And within ControlNet, we now have control of the light as well. So uh, this is super cool. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you learned anything, remember, subscribing and liking helps me. You don't have to if you don't want to. As always, have a good one. See ya.